an unauthorized guide to Hogwarts. That's right, Hogwarts Legacy posted this little tease on their Instagram, which actually I am now back on, so you can go follow me at Professor Lynette. But let's take a look at what they have to say. The caption reads, Don't tell the headmaster. Consider this an unauthorized guide to student life at Hogwarts. The first video clip is very simple. In the four corners, we have the regal designs of our house mascots in the gold. And it just appears this floating book, which actually looks to me a lot like the one we saw in the Autodesk presentation. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's an unauthorized guide to Hogwarts itself from that scene, but it might be just the same kind of design for the book itself. Honestly, I kind of wish this was something we got in the collector's edition. Wouldn't it be so cool to have a leather bound book with all of this detail? Of course, in the center, we have the Hogwarts coat of arms with our typical logo we usually see to symbolize Hogwarts. There's a giant H in the middle. And then we have in the circles above and below, it looks like it's the same design that appears to be an M. I don't know. It might be Merlin, it might be magic, just M for magic. Or maybe I'm just seeing letters and it doesn't mean anything at all. On the spine of the book, we see similarly the H. So this feels to me like it could actually be an unauthorized guide to Hogwarts. Like let's say some students wrote it and they kept it in this book and they passed it down. It also suggests to me from the caption of not telling the headmaster that there's probably secrets in here that are only known to students and that we shouldn't let the adults know that we know about. Kind of like how the Weasley twins knew about those secret passageways, I think that this is a pretty cool thing. Or even the Marauders having the map, and there's a lot of things that the students keep from the professors, you know? Either way, if I can't have it in real life, I actually want it in the game. I want to have this book in my hands. The next video is just a very quick sort of tease of common rooms holding secrets, and we got a little bit of this hint when we saw all of the common rooms and there is some social media post about the secrets. This is why I wanted to smash all the vases in the Ravenclaw common room, but we have Hogwarts is full of secrets. The common rooms are no exception. Tip number one. This is tip number one in the book. Also on the very bottom, this is kind of cool. It kind of reminds me of Harry Potter Wizards Unite where there's always like little details. This is handwritten notes. Take staircase to I don't know where that says. KK Kitchens? This might be for the Hufflepuff common room entrance, maybe? It says go down hallway, um, and it says third barrel, it appears at the bottom. So I feel like that's instructions to, maybe it's like a secret entrance near the kitchens into some Hufflepuff area. I don't know. I'm clearly not a Hufflepuff. I took a quiz the other day and I did terrible at it. So all y'all Hufflepuffs, tell me what's up with this. Then we have a quick scene. This is the Slytherin common room actually. And we were told not to tap on the glass. However, I, I, what did we do? Did we just like crucio it? <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, honestly, this is so aggressive. We're just strolling through the common room, everything's chill, and all of a sudden we try to avada a fish. I don't understand. Regardless, if I somehow happen to find myself in the Slytherin common room, this is probably the first thing I'm gonna do is try to do something to the glass and see what happens. This is also very interesting because, so in the third video clip, it's very brief and doesn't really show anything new, but it's in the Ravenclaw common room. If you notice, there are very clear inner Interact icons that pop up for things that have an interactability. So you're spinning that little globe. And one of my questions from watching the common rooms was how much could we interact with? So now, based on that girl casting a spell at the glass in the Slytherin common room, I feel like I should just cast magic at everything. Just Accio everything, uh, just explode everything. I don't know. There's probably secrets in the common rooms, in hidden into the nooks, maybe inside objects. I don't know, but I'm going to use all my magic. We're at a school of witchcraft and wizardry for crying out loud. We got to use the magic that we learn to try to figure out what's going on here. What do y'all think about this book? Is it the same one from the Autodesk series that we saw? Is it going to be something that we'll actually be able to have 
If so, who are we going to get this book from? Is it just in our common rooms and we have access to it? Does Professor Weasley know about this book? We saw it in the Autodesk presentation. She was there. I couldn't read her lips, but she had stuff to say. And maybe this is something that we do carry with us for our playthrough. We have shots where we are uncovering secrets and we're able to sense stuff pages come out of the air and go into this book that we happen to have. And there is that last tab in our character menu that we don't really know much about, but it has a symbol that could relate to the pages we find that are the unauthorized guide to Hogwarts. I have many questions. Let me know all of that in the comments down below. As of recording, there is nothing on Twitter, but they might be posting this on the rest of the social media accounts. So if you don't follow Hogwarts Legacy on Instagram, and you're on it, you can go check them out, turn on those post notifications if you want. You can also follow me at Prof Lynette. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, Wands Ready.